Oh yeah, sexy biscuits. Nice. This is Super Monkey Ball on the Nintendo GameCube, released by Sega in 2001 and developed by Amusement Vision. It was originally an arcade machine also in 2001. I don't know if it was exclusive to Japan. I've never played this. It's, there are many, many, many sequels and many, um, many, you know, different systems have versions of it. I think there's a Wii one which I'd be quite interested to play because it's basically a balance game from what I can tell looking at this. I haven't really, really played it, but you game, you're game. you in a ball, I think hamster and shit. You move around with the analog stick, A, adjust your map at your bottom right hand corner so you can kind of take some, you know, control or know where it is you're going because you can fall off the edge. And yeah, you get the more speed you get, the harder it is to stop. So that's why I would say it's like a tilty balance game. Which I know you do play it with the Wiimotes or Sonic Work had it. Um, on the Wii system which would make it actually really quite interesting right I picked this up the other day for absolutely fuck all now there's four characters in it there's I I um, baby uh, Mimi and gone 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 is um, exclusive to the GameCube version as far as I can tell there's like yeah this is like on absolutely everything PSP PlayStation 2 Wii right game starts Okay, it's a very early game for the GameCube. I don't know if it's a launch game, but it's 2001, so it'll be quite interesting to see how um, the graphics hold up. It is four player if you've got mates, but uh, it's still at o'clock in the morning, so I'm by myself, uh, which would be interesting because it's, if the tracks don't have boundaries um, and you gain momentum, if you twat your mate as hard as you can, will you take him out of the game? Right, you can bet four players, one uh, normal mode, right, one player, okay. Uh, there you go. I, I, Mimi, baby, Gong Gong. Let's go with Gong Gong. Right, okay. Uh, three levels. Um, you, uh, 30 stages, 10 stages, and 50 stages. You collect bananas. I think they're like rings in Sonic or something, but they're, they're not what you have to achieve to finish the stage. Again, I'm really not sure. One thing I am sure of is that the loading times are freaking amazing. But then the GameCube was better than most of the other systems, wasn't it, with loading times? Right, so there's bananas. Uh, a is map. Got time in the middle. Right, I'm going to just go straight through. I can't. Uh, I don't have to collect the bananas then. They're just points. So it's a question of um, trying to finish the level of the time and, uh, you know, rounding up. We're getting a balance with the points. Now, there's a big fucking hole in the middle. Um, I'm in outer space. Well, floaty space. Um, right, so... Let's get the bananas. I mean, it is an early game. The camera's a bit frisky, but it does look nice. Like I said, it would have been amazing to see how this plays or fares with four players. Uh, oh, look, a ramp. I can't help myself. Oh, wait, what the fuck? Whoop. Curiosity killed the cat. Um, oh, Curious George. See what I did there? Why would you put a ramp there? That's like when you go to fucking Bristol Zoo and there's a big sign. People didn't know to do this until they saw the sign, but there's a big sign in the gorilla house that says, Please don't stare at the gorilla. He doesn't like it. So <laughs> every kid under the age of fucking 12 stares at the gorilla. That's exactly what that fucking ramp is. It's Bristol Zoo's gorilla. Right, I should be reading this. Bonus. Bananas. Five. Uh, so, I mean, total seven out of a hundred. Um, right, that's how many you can collect. Ooh, look at that, right. I wish you could control. Oh, it can go the other way. The camera. It does look nice. I bet it's got some insane levels later on. Does that mean if you want to get all the bananas and be really anal, you have to go all the way around, then all the way back around, so you can get all the bananas without having to cross the threshold, if you will. Oh, that's saucy. Right. Okay, thanks for the warning. Oh, fuck. Oh, bollocks. Yeah, it's, you know what? Don't, uh, don't, it's, it's taking a bit of getting used to. Don't just hold your thumb on the analog stick. Because then shit just finds your face. Because you get so much speed up. Do I stay on? Do I have to keep moving left and right? Or will it? No, I don't. No, I don't look that way. 
There'll be a full gone gone. Or you'll be gone gone. As soon as I clearly can fly, then why do I worry about falling off? Just fucking float up. I thought that's a re Ooh, bonus floor. Right, how much time? Um, do I forget all the bananas? Right, let's do this slowly. Oh, the floor's got its own sort of characteristics, so I can't just be cheap and dusty old bill outside the window in case you're wondering what that noise was. Right, what's the time? 49 seconds. Do I get some sort of bonus if I get all the bananas, or is it just upping my banana count? It's all about the banana count. The lady monkeys love it. 37. I don't even know where the exit is. 33. Come on. We got this. We got this by the dick. No, we haven't. 25. Oh, no, that's what you got to do. Collect all the bananas. And a bonus, I'm assuming, for the time. Oh, look at that. Can I, I'm assuming I just go on the route. I can't get on any of the structure. Oh, this is... There's something very marble madness about this. Look, it puts the bananas... Oh, next to the edge. It ain't stupid. Right. Oh, fucking hell. It is super smooth graphics. I am liking that. Getting used to the camera now. How big is this level? Oh, fuck monkeys. See what I did there? Right, let's do that again. I can see that this would get... Oh, continue, yes. I can see that this would get super frustrating later on. Dependent upon... How batshit, crazily, nasty, insane they make the levels. Right, I want to get all the bananas. This is why you got to use your map, then. That mistake I made just then, you know, on the previous gameplay, before I continued, was obviously, oh, for not, you know, rookie mistake for not using the map. Right on the edge. Oh, now I've got a fucking itchy nose. I'm assuming I've got my own oxygen supply. I just thought your monkey would suffocate in the ball. Hamsters don't, they do they? Hang on. There it is. That's awkward. No. Oh, that's really awkward. Gun it. Sexy. Do I get bonus? No. You only get bonuses for collecting all the nanas on the nana stage. Sweet. It's very tranquil. He says until you get to a bastard level, I'm assuming. Right, I really should have looked up a video of uh, the arcade to see how it compares. I know the arcade didn't it have like a banana for a joystick. That's just racist against monkeys. Oh, come on. Fuck it. Oh, yo, yo, yo. This, the camera on this level is making me feel a little bit nauseous. Get out there, gong gong. Oh, oh. Oh, because obviously it's a, it's an incline. That's when you need your momentum. Oh, Tori, come on, move it. Fuck. I can totally see that this will get really, really frisky. All right, one more, then we're going to call it quits. I do like that pinata effect. Oh, my God, it's sponsored by a fucking juice company. All right, how do I do this? That's nasty. Screw it. Fuck. Yeah, it's getting it's getting uh, devilish, if you will. Right, close up. There we go. Fuck. Come on, just do this level. Oh, I'm out of lives. No, not yet. Not yet. No, you don't. No, you don't. Go on, go on, go on, go on. No! Rookie mistake, rookie mistake. Bollocks. Gonna call it quits there. This is very interesting. I'm definitely gonna come back and give this some more plays. It's a simple premise, and dependent on how, well, dickish the developers are, I can see he's got a lot of potential for, uh, shall we say, challenging levels. Anyway, thank you very much for later. Thank you very much for later. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you later.